I'm leaving. <laughs> just for just for two weeks. I'm going somewhere warmer. So I just have to survive a couple days um, in Punta Arenas with just my pack of the I am 100% overpacked in the sense that it's heavy. But really, I don't have that many clothes in my bag. A lot of it's stuff and a lot of it's stuff that's just going to live in Costa Rica. I'm not even returning with one of the bags. But uh, the transfer's here in like 15 minutes. So I'm going to start bringing my stuff down and get ready to go. Okay, someone asked me on a short if I was still using this. I use that bag all the time. That's my hiking bag. I just don't think I'm going to go hiking, so I'm not even, like, worried about that bag. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, I've tried to film this intro so many times. Today is Monday. I'm waiting for my transfer to come here. There's only one transfer in Puerto Williams. I think we're going to get there early, which is great because I want to borrow the scale to check my bag. And then um, I'm flying to Punta Arenas from Punta Arenas. I'm going to stay at the last hostel that I was at um, just because it's nice and cheap. I mean, it's not nice, nice, but it does the job. Especially because I had to book two nights, even though I'm not sleeping the second night. So we'll spend all day tomorrow in Punta Arenas getting some work done. And then we'll head to Costa Rica. Make sure you are subscribed to watch this travel vlog because this is just going to be airline. We're going to talk about airline stuff today. And then uh, next vlog, we'll head to Costa Rica. Okay, it's 11.30. I'm waiting for my transfer. This is the first time I've ever been outside and he, he is not outside. Normally, I'm late. Like, he is like five minutes early or on time and I'm always expecting them to be late. I thought 11.30 was a little early today, but that's fine. I have both my bags. We're gonna wait. I'm on time for once. DAP bag tip. Sorry, you can't see me. So DAP Airlines is the only airlines that flies into Isla Navarino, Puerto Williams. So if you're gonna fly DAP, this is your choice. You get five kilos up above and you get 10 kilos below. And then for every kilo, I think it's like 2,300 pesos, Chilean pesos. So do with that information as you will uh, a lot of the times it's cheaper once you add all the bag stuff to take the ferry and i like the ferry better but this is a quick trip so i have two bags i have my osprey 40 liters and i have my osprey 46 liters and this bag has all my computer and tech so it's a little bit heavier as well as like a change of clothes for tomorrow and the airplane um the big thing is, is when I'm using a computer and I have all my tech, I actually have another bag. I have my Fjall Craven tote bag in here. So what I do with the Fjall Craven bag is if someone needs me to check my big bag, that's totally fine. Um, I just take my, my laptop, uh, GoPro chargers, and my skincare out of the bag. For DAP, I won't take my skincare out of the bag, but say Flying Latham and my long legs, they want me to check that bag. I will then take like all the stuff I need for the flight and put it in my full craven bag and it still fits. So that's my tip if you're flying with tech gear. Oh yeah. That's the temporary airport. This is the land runway and the tower. The airplane will be right about here, but it's not here yet. This is the staff room here. You are going to bring your bag up and get it weighed. You'll tell them your last name and weigh your bag. If you need to check a bag, they will give you this. This is the tag that coordinates with your bag. And they'll also weigh your bag for overhead. 
Um, I got lucky today. So. Got 45 minutes uh, from takeoff and they started calling people. And that's normally how a uh, plane works. They'll call people. I've never been called. I'm in last group all the time. I don't know how the calling works. That is how it is. This is also a Southwest pick your own seat situation, so a lot of people tend to start. First is children at pre ward family of children, uh, elderly, and you can ask, I think that's how born you are. I'm watching Captain Ray. Like a flight from Dallas to Austin, even real quick, like 40 minutes. Didn't get chips today. Normally we get chips. There were no chips today. We got chocolate instead. I'm going to pick up my bag and then hang out for like an hour because check-in at my hostel isn't for like another hour. I don't see any point in like rushing anything. Okay. Hello. We are in the front of my hostel. There's no identifying signs where we're at, but I'm at my hostel. I'm staying at Palagonia Magica, like I am last. I was last time. I'm waiting for my Uber to get here, and we're heading to Zona Franca. I was gonna do this tomorrow, but I have so much work to do that I would rather just kind of finish running errands today and then start doing work when I get back. So. I'm gonna do some last minute errands as on a franca, hopefully find something to eat there and then ooh, it's oh well chilly. Feeling the siete. Uh and then we'll head back. I'll show you my room. Little fun note, this area right here. Avenida de España. If you head further that way, we're in the red light district. This is not a good look. Okay, well, I'm gonna order some takeout. I went shopping. I got some a new foundation because I was almost out of my foundation. Um, didn't find a lot of the other stuff that I was looking for, but that's fine. So, I'm gonna order some sushi and then have a girls' night in. So the plan tomorrow is to have uh, a venti coffee once I'm in Santiago and then refill with this because I lost my water bottle and then I'll have some like a juice flavor for the rest of the flight. I'm really afraid that I got glutened and so I'm taking these expensive probiotics but they're necessary. I have my diarrhea medicine. This may seem extreme but you know what? If you're celiac or have some food problems you know what I'm talking about and then I have just been taking these vitamin C tablets because oh, first of all I'm gonna hear some nasty coughs I have my face mask I'll probably be wearing mine for the flight tomorrow because I just I just don't want to be sick for this trip okay Me feeling like I got gluten may have been a panic, but just in case it was or wasn't, I'm seeing a mochima onigiri. Here they're safe food for me on Punta Arenas. I'm gonna go buy more tomorrow and take on my flight. These were originally for the flight, but this is a spicy tuna with a spicy mayo. It could be spicier. It's so good. And highly recommend if you're in Punta Arenas and you have celiac disease, these are my safety. They have other flavors. Just that the girl and I, with my Spanish, we couldn't decide what was a safe flavor. And I can't risk anything else anymore. We are in Punta Arenas. I'm going to stop by the beauty shop to grab some conditioner because I was going to bring any conditioner. And I also don't have makeup remover.
okay, so I asked for uh, <laughs> travel products, and they were like, what? And they kept trying to give me really big bottles. And I was like, no, no, it like, has to be a certain size. And they were like, oh, okay. So I didn't get a face wash. We'll figure that one out. Um, I should have asked Mac yesterday. But I did get conditioner. Okay. <sighs> I forgot what I was saying. Well, we are in the center of Punta Arenas. I'm heading to the Santander Work Cafe, as always. <laughs> Uh, the beauty chef and I, we, she just heard curls and she started eating styling products. And I was like, I know I'm having a bad hair day, but I actually asked for conditioner. And she's like, oh, yeah, you asked for conditioner. <laughs> like, yeah, way to call out my bad hair day. No, no, no. They're always super helpful. I love that beauty shop. Um, the prices feel like they went up since the last time I was there. So I didn't get everything I needed. That's fine. We're done. Um, I'm also really hungry. No breakfast to be found anywhere. I know where I can eat. It's not, it's not here. So I'm just going to go get a coffee, see how much I can power through work. Hopefully they have protein bars in the cafe like they normally do. Hello. Isn't this funny? I actually bought this here in Punta Arenas. Um, it's the thrift store really close to Paragonia Magica. I will... I said that so awfully. I'll put the links down below. Um, so I've been at the cafe for a couple hours. They're out of milk, so my favorite latte. And they make it, and they always do latte for me. They remember me here. Um, they're out, so I had Americana. But they All right, so I'll see you guys when I go to the grocery store. Picking up some gluten-free stuff. I've messaged Latam like twice about this gluten-free meal, and it's not. Just left uh, the work cafe. I... I'm so hungry. Finished all my meetings. Went a little bit longer. Didn't go as expected. I hate when software's change. I didn't work on the same website for like a year and a half. And then they did an update. And I'm like, oh, where'd this place go? Oh, well. Um, I'm going to go to the grocery store now. <sighs> Gotta grab some snacks. Latam confirmed with me. Latam confirmed with me that it's gluten-free. It's safe to eat. So hopefully, it will be all good. So hopefully, everything will be good with my food for the trip. I'm still going to go grab some snacks because better safe than extremely sorry because no one wants me to have a celiac gluten reaction on that plane. No one. And uh, then we'll head back to the hostel, get everything repacked, ready to go. I'll do some more work tasks and yeah, we'll Got my food. I feel so much better. I know that I'm sad that it was. I'm just scared. I read on Reddit someone got a slice of bread on their gluten free meal. So, so I picked up lunch for today. I haven't eaten at all today. It's almost 4 30. So, I know I'm about to just go ham on some food and then I'll meal prep, pack. It'll be good. It'll be good. Got my sticker showing. Got my pita sandwiches in here. And then I'm cooking tater tots and a hamburger. Okay, it's 9.30 at night. I am eating dinner with hot water. It's cold. I'm cold. It's raining, so it can't be that cold, but I'm cold. Um, all my stuff's packed. I was going to pack with me, but my roommate arrived right as I was like a gung-ho to pack, and no one wants to film in front of one person. If it's like a group, you can kind of all ignore it, but if it's one person, it's just you. Yeah. And then, either way, I'm eating. I'm probably gonna go read, like, lock everything up in my bag. I'm gonna, after dinner, I'm gonna lock everything up, um, and then read until it's time to catch my my taxi. So technically, I don't have to be at the airport until midnight, which means I should leave here like. 11, but I think I'm gonna just leave here at 11.30 because I think I would just rather be at the airport so my roommate can sleep because she's looking real tired and I respect people, so. <laughs> I mean, I know it's hostile life, but just, plus maybe I'll have some more adrenaline because I'm so tired right now. 
and I don't want another energy drink or a coffee, so I just would like to pump up my adrenaline to like get me there. <laughs> also, I hate flights. I don't know why I did this. I hate flights that leave the next day at night because I get real messed up on when I need to be there. I would just rather be like a midnight flight or like 11.59. 11.59, perfect. Oh well, I'm gonna eat dinner and I'll see you guys at the airport.